Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear friends, friends of dear friends, lovers of freedom, wherever you are. Welcome to Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Piafra Television. This is a program that has been designed to educate you, to enlighten you, of course, um, to bring to your notice what is going on in the contraption called Nigeria, and of course, everything that has to do with the restoration of Biafra. We are the indigenous people of Biafra, a blue led by Mazinam Dikano and deputized by Mazuche Mepo. We are whiter and whiter and whiter than snow. We have come to restore Biafra and nothing more, nothing less. This morning we are reaching from Biafra land. My name is Ngozi Chukoka. And then the studio with me this morning is... Mazi Victor Onido, Biafra Sama Vassal of Freedom. I greet you all and I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Good morning, Wada. Good morning. You're welcome. All right. Also, we have on Imo Mazi Elvis on Wudiwe. Hello, Mazi. Good morning from here. Okay, we lost that connection. We will have to go back to him uh, in a couple of minutes. But before that, we will have to go ahead um, with sharing of the program. Don't forget that this program needs to be shared. Everyone needs to be part and parcel of this program. So if you are on Facebook, uh, we've ensured we are on almost all the social media platforms, Facebook, Periscope, Twitter, YouTube. So please do share the program, whichever platform you find yourself. Please keep sharing it. If you're on Twitter, please tweet the program. It's really, really important. It's necessary. So um, this morning, for also for the benefit of those who have no access to internet, we are transmitting simultaneously on radio Biafra London. So please tell your family, our people in the rural areas to join us on radio Biafra London. And of course, the gospel will get to everyone. Thank you for joining us once again. And of course, thank you for sharing the program. I am Silungozi Chukwoka on Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Okay, today we are going to be looking at um, Biafra Heroes Day. Of course, we know that tomorrow is 30th of May. Tomorrow is sacrosanct. 30th of May is a day that has been set aside to honor our heroes. It is a day that has been set aside to remember those who died for us, those who died in the contraption, those who died during slavery, and those, you know, a lot of people died um, uh, since the amalgamation of um, this contraption. We've lost a lot of people, and tomorrow we are going to honor them, 30th of May. So today we are going to be looking at some important questions. What really is this genocide all about? A lot of people do not know. How did it happen? How did it start? What came about it? How, why is it that we are not being accepted? Why did our people die? Is it only the 1967 and uh, those of them who died during protests? I think there are several cases, there are several incidents uh, where our people have been killed. So we are going to be looking at them. Then we also look at what is going on, uh, what happened then, with what is going on now we compare, and then we look at what to expect. Very important. So we'll be attending some questions that has to do with our heroes, some questions that has to do with the genocide, questions that has to do with what is going on now, and why we need to, um, why we need to always remember, why we always need to look back at history. Don't forget that if we don't look at back, if we if we hadn't looked at our history, we wouldn't be here today. Even though it was denied us, um, you know, for so many times, or so many years, decades, but we decide to educate ourselves. That is why today we can boldly stand and say we want Biafra. So these are what we are going to be looking at today. Uh, before that, we we'll get back to our brother on Imo Mazi Elvis on Wudiwe. Hello, Mazi. Good morning from here. So how are you people doing this morning? Yeah, well, thank you. Welcome to the program. Good morning, watching okay. All right, thank you very much. And uh, be friend listening. Please gather together because uh, this is it. Thank you very much, as well, listening. I am uh, here. Okay, thank you very much. Of course, um, like I said, we are going to be looking at this heroes. They we keep talking about heroes. We keep talking about uh, heroes who died and you know, on several locations. So, Mazi um, Elvis, tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is 30th of May. So, what you know, we, we keep talking about genocide. 
and there is a particular one on record 1967 to 1970 we keep talking about it but we cannot talk about heroes we cannot talk about genocide without looking at what came about it why this genocide you know it's important to educate even our children uh, we were never told we are never educated earlier on but today we all know and our children the generation uh, that is to come need to know so what really is this genocide all about okay um Wanda, before i answer your question i would like to also remind you that uh, if you're a man or uh, if you call yourself a man you should not just look straight into your future because you felt that you have a bad future you should also settle down and look into your past because that is the genesis if you don't know where they don't started beating you you would not know where it it will stop so our generation the reason why we are facing what we are facing facing today is because of the fact that our generation is a confused generation we don't know our history we don't know our past that is why something those things that uh, that has happened in the past is also bound to keep repeating itself in our future so talking about the genocide my sister is something i mean it's something that is quite overwhelming because uh, the genocide even uh, the genocide did not even start today it predates the amalgamation they started killing us even before the amalgamation took place and it is because of the blessings of chukuku kabia my in our land he blesses us with everything he embellishes our good work with uh, a lot of blessings he, he chukuku kabia gave us wisdom we are born with it and we are you know making life better for our people and those around us even though oil and water cannot mix but we have been existing with those our neighbors over there but we don't have the same tradition we don't have the same way of life so because of our own we have a very unique lifestyle and a, a, a very perfect way of life that is what the british saw that made them to develop this kind of hatred because they believe they don't want another japan to arose in africa so that is why they instigated the hatred between our neighbors and begin to support them to start killing us and they begin to kill us and because of the fact that we are born with uh, an instinct that uh, killing of human being is uh, evil to our, uh, our own side they cannot just kill a human being and goes cut free like that you must pay retribution and also you must mourn that person even if you kill somebody mistakenly it's not that you, you didn't wish to i mean it's not a deliberate attempt for you to kill somebody you also you get acquired or you get acquired like you do a lot of things to show you how important we value like that's why we say mando and that is what defines who we are mando they call us mando we call somebody we mando this and that because we define the the, the beauty of life that's why we don't kill but this movie they started killing us during this time and then that thing again that happened to us is that most of our history most of the things that happened to us in the past uh this generation that took over from them could not even pass all of them to us it's just that chukukade gave us the wisdom to be able to dig out some of all those things that is the killing the the, 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 the mass murder in 1945 they killed hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, people that is scattered over there in the north and the killing continue on and on but the one that is uh grand shaking because it is not only one group of people that participated in that killing. The world itself, the people that we can think of today all around the world participated in killing us by supplying the enemies the mass weapon of mud, uh, I mean murder and the massacre to massacre our people in the genocide called war in 1966 and also uh, 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 that is the reason why of course you know uh 30th of may is not just a day where we remember our fallen heroes it's a day Biafra itself was declared it's the, it's the day that marks the beginning of our freedom okay. so that is why you know we put i mean we choose that very day as a day to remember those who fall because people fall in so many ways even the 200 years there's a story about uh, 200 yeah, we'll get to deaths. that we'll get to that thank you very much for uh, that explanation of course before we go ahead i would like to also appreciate the volunteers IPOB volunteers yesterday was awesome yesterday was great you know it was like never before everywhere inspired the armored personnel carriers inspired all that was rolled out you know the show of force in enugu two days ago and of course uh, the warnings coming from the nigerian police our volunteers made us proud they made the heroes proud yesterday
today, Han, you know, most times you begin to wonder what really is the spirit behind this. We, uh, you know, it, it, most times we say Biafra is your spirit. We might not really understand it. So, uh, Mazi Elvis, what do you have to say before we continue um, on the, the issue of the genocide? What do you think? What really is behind this um, yesterday, uh, uh, you know, the resoluteness, uh, the fearlessness of these youths? We know how much threat that has been issued. But yesterday, all about Biafra land, the, 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 the noise was heard, the sound was heard, their footsteps were heard, their voices were heard, and it was all over um, the social media. Okay, um, my sister, um, there is no uh, doubt that um, there is this very uh, reading that said we will not uh, ret uh, retreat, neither uh, do we uh, or should we surrender. Do you know IPOB and Bia friends are like uh, Spartan boys? And uh, let me use Vietnam, for example. If you kill 2,000 now, the next five minutes, 20,000 will emerge. And when you look at it, those men, those guys, the people you saw yesterday, are not the men you can toy with. Because the game we are in right now, are for men and not for boys. When you look at them, they say that boys, they, they are, the men are not smiling. So I, I, I expected the zoo to react. And because they know what is about to happen to them, they ran away. So I, I, I give them accolade. I, I, I encourage them. And I say, very big thank you because um, what they are doing is, uh, uh, is a welcome uh, uh, program because. Um, They've shown that the Biafra can never be intimidated, no matter the amount of the threat, and the how someone cannot come to our land and uh, initiate the threat and uh, go scot free. So that is what it is. They should come out right now and do their worst. Let us see who is who. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now let's go uh, straight to what we have here this morning, uh, tomorrow, 30th of um, May. We are talking about our heroes. We are talking about. Uh, the, those who died for Biafra, those who died uh, fighting for Biafra, and also those who died on several occasions. But very much important, we look at the, what happened in 1967 because that is the, um, the, the, the recorded genocide, the genocide that is on record, even though we do not have the accurate or they do not have the accurate uh, statistics of how many lives that we have lost. So, first of all, I want to, we need to know, you know, there is this saying that if you cannot look at your back, or if you cannot look back at your history, you will not know um, what is happening to you or what to expect in future. So, we want to look at what really was the cause of the genocide committed against Biafrans. That is the, between 1967 and 1970. Mazi Elvis, are you there? Okay, uh, sorry for the break of uh, the transition. It's just, you know, that we are in the zoo. Anything can happen, so, and that uh, we must continue. So, um, uh, looking at the genocide, because uh, there is this very impression that I want to correct. The correction is people are calling, uh, kind of, uh, they've changed the, 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 the genocide into Biafran war. That is not war because we are on we are in our land. We are on our land. The Hausas, the Fulanese, the Nigerian Kabals, the zoo governments, the international communities that supported them came and invade our land. And uh, the, the only option is to defend ourselves because Biafra is what we got. And uh, uh, they, 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 they came to our land and they commit genocide. They kill our people. They, 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 they use all manner of tactics, even the blockade systems. They use everything to cause mayhem in the land. So we are about to remember them because this very morning, there is a place I read that some of the, the, the veterans that died said, before, he, he, before the man died, he said, um, in Abagana sector, he said, these people we are dying for, are they going to remember us? 
So, and that very war touched my heart. So now, thanks to Mazin and the Kano, that, that they kind of remember, reminded us of our history, because our history would have gone into a, a dustbin of, uh, of uh, waste. You know, but um, he came up with this very uh, idea of retrieving, of bringing back who we are. So we must remember them. In the whole wide world, people remember their deaths. Despite this, irrespective of, of uh, how they, 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 they died, but these ones are our heroes and heroines. They said, over their dead body, he said, let them die, that this land will be taken over by Fulani the Fotagelons, and they die for our sake. So we must remember them. And the D day is tomorrow. Today is the Eve day. So thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Um, you know, he actually answered the next question. I wanted to ask, why is it that it was termed Nigerian civil war when it was actually a genocide? What, we, what are they really trying to, you know, cover up? What are they trying to hide? That's okay. a very big question. We need to, that, that's an issue we really need to take a critical look at. Okay. All right, thank you very much. And lastly, uh, Mazi, um, Elvis, let's look at what our leader is doing in USA, Atlanta, Georgia. That is where um, he will be broadcasting there from, from there tomorrow. So can you enlighten us a bit about those uh, the, the slave the history of our people because according to our leadership we are going to honor those who died uh, during slavery and those who uh, you know we are drawn in the atlantic georgia what do you have to say about that or uh, what do you know about that enlighten us a bit before we go yeah um my sister our leaders um visitations in the Atlanta, Georgia is beyond what you can foresee. There is a lot of goodies. There is a lot of goodies behind his visitations. And the one thing you should know is that um, our leader does not go into a place or bargain in a business that has nothing to do with Biafran restoration. For him going to Atlanta, Georgia, you will have it in the back of your mind that sometime last, is it three years ago or two, in short, three or four years ago when he went, I think 2014, when he went for uh, Igbo, uh, whatever, conference or whatever. He made his point known, and uh, that very document was recorded. And whatever thing he said there, those of them that argued used it against him are now crying because what he has said is uh, has already been fulfilled. So, for him to go to Atlanta, Georgia right now is not only commemorations or remembering our heroes, that is the fundamental aspect, but the primary aspect is diplomatic recognitions, connections, and uh, there are things that I will say that is whatever step he takes, whatever where he goes, is to bring Biafran very close. And I think he will release, he will release some of them when it comes on air tomorrow. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. And this moment will be going on break. When we return, the lines will be open for you to call in and make your contributions. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. we are here discussing the heroes day that is coming up tomorrow we we'll have tomorrow to remember our heroes of course they are forever in our heart we remember them every day but we have chosen a particular day to say today we are going to set it aside we are going to use it to pray we are going to use it to light a candle for these heroes because they deserve it they deserve it so many died brutally so many died trying to save us so many died that we might have our freedom that is more reason we also have to fight to get the freedom for them we will not capitulate 
So right now the lines are open for you to call in and make your contributions. Call us on Skype, call us on Facebook, call us on our phone line, and of course our direct line. You call us and make us um, understand your own contributions. Okay, our line for those who are listening via the radio, our WhatsApp line is 90 0905660853. Our WhatsApp line is 90 0905660853. And our phone line is 070 our phone line once again zero seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six so please do call us and let's know your um call us and make your contributions call us and let's understand um what is going on in your area because it's important right now we know what happened um that the report has it that yesterday um, yesterday after the protest there the, we are shootings everywhere in Aba. so we are yet to get information of what happened we know for sure they will go and start um, arresting abducting because it's an arrest abducting people who are not even involved in the evangelism uh, so you have to call us and let's know what is going on um, in your own area really really important so call us right now and um, let's know your contribution let's also know how prepared are you for the heroes day okay so uh, uh master victor what do you also have to say uh Mazi officer have said something about our leader's presence in atlanta georgia and he said something i let say something he said he was going there to um you know also remember those who died during slavery so I do not know if you have um, oh, okay. an idea about it. Okay, well, uh, yes, uh, uh, he was right because uh, um, those our progenitors, those are forefathers. You know, um, that's that's why I said that the massacre, or uh, the the killing, predates the amalgamation itself. Because remember, during, all these things are what they are trying to let us forget for a very long time. But we cannot forget and we cannot forgive. You know, they kidnap a lot of us, uh, a lot of our forefathers back then, and. Uh, they took them over there to use them in their cotton farm as slaves that will work in their farm and all of that. And uh, as brave as we are, uh, that, that is why we keep saying it, that our bravery did not start today. It is something that is transferred to us by our forefathers. They decided that instead of them to go and be a slave to all these uncircumcised evil people, it's better for us to drown. And it was there in the history that a lot of them drowned in the Atlantic Ocean. We are they are trying to go back and their spirit is still in sun. And if you check the bottom of uh, the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, you see that over, I mean, millions of people were, at, uh, I mean, drowned and they are still at the bottom of that very sea. So it, it will be a disfavor if we should jump people I and mean, if we, we jump people that died before the people we are trying to remember now so it is good and it's a very good step at the right direction and uh, it's also it also unite all the spirit together because you know all of them because of all this uh, you know diversion that has been created uh, here and there it didn't just only happen in that place there are other places that our people our ancestors we are taking and we are killed and mass massacred in in various farm and in various places that happen so but that very atlanta Georgia own. I mean, it's a groundbreaking history because our uh, people did something even the white men, the white enslavers could not even imagine, you know, going out of uh, their way to drown in millions because they don't want to be slaves. Just like other people that are, if it is the house of Fulani, they, those ones, they are just very easy to be converted at, as a, at any, uh, to any slave that you want, any slave of your choice, you can convert them to, but our people are not like that. I remember that our people, they are the hottest uh, in the market. They are the most wanted slaves. But our, our forefathers said that they cannot be a slave to these people, so they decided to drown. So uh, the movement of our own UC is very, very in line. Yeah, I mean, is is in order because if we can be able to remember those people over there, their spirit too will activate it and they will join our own spirit down here, and all of them they will do work for us because you know a lot of people have been. I mean, a lot of things have been hindering uh, our own international recognition, and uh, a lot of people are not aware. So if we can revive their spirits now, their spirit will go in the atmosphere and uh, begin to do some signs and wonders that we could never even imagine so his step is in the right direction thank you all right thank you very much uh, we have a caller there on whatsapp hello caller on whatsapp 
Uh, my name is uh, Maya Chukuma Zaka. I am from Anamba State, but I'm based here in Lagos. You're welcome. Go ahead. I just want to say good morning. I hope we are flying over the world. Molo is our day party man. Everybody should sit down in his own and nobody should come out. So I greet our leader, Mazin Nam, the Kano, and which you know for all the IPOB members as well as the world. And uh, we, no, we, we cannot surrender. We, are, we already gone far. So, uh, 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 according to my our leader, Mazin Nam, the Kano. So everybody should sit down tomorrow and pray to God that uh, there are four people that those people that are killed must fight for us and uh, their families come. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, Biafra must come. It is really, really, uh, you know, it's, it's something we cannot talk less about. It's something we cannot um, fail to accept that Biafra must come. Hello, call on Facebook. Call on Facebook. Hello, can you hear me? Marita, yeah, we can hear you. Can you please turn down the volume of your listening? Hello, good morning. All right, call on the phone. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Yeah, my name is Terry. Thank you, Madame Okoria. Calling from Enugu. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you go ahead? We can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Then go ahead if you can hear me, please. You're listening to your device. I think I will. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. All right, we have another caller there. We will be able to hear you. you. Don't follow instructions. Hello, Hello we'll call on the phone. We have another caller there. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello? Morning, what's the new guy coming from? Hello? Hello, what's up? Hello? No, are you getting me? Yeah, we are. We can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. I'm using this opportunity to tell you thank you, the effort you're doing, because this is my first time to call and make a call for this radio Biafra or television Biafra. We are fully in support. We are in diaspora. We say everything you're doing, God bless you in Jesus in Pope Abiyama. He say, bless you too. He say. Okay. Thank you. That's the only thing I wanted to say this morning. You are going ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Of course, um, yeah. the lines are bye -bye. Yeah, bye. We'll have a call on the phone. Hello? Hello, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Hello. What's the name of you? Are you calling? Are you coming out, eh? We can hear you, yes. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. My name is Marze Okeze Fortune. I'm from the hometown of Oloko. My hometown called Oluko in Ipono local government under my province. And right now I'm serving the University of Biafra in Abakaliki province. And I am a registered member of Abakaliki Zone in Ituan. The Chukuro Kazama bless you. I would like to spend much of your time. I've had policy and I want to thank our brother LB. And I want to thank all our principal officers and our general coordinator, my and officer, Lord, and the officer, the on the issue of all the officers, where we are the umbrella of restoration, IPOV, is that May 30th, that if you come out, ever come out, you are a bastard and you have never lost anybody in your family. No, it as that. We are mourning our heroes and heroines. May the good God bless you. If any member tries to come out or tries to remove any form of publicity that is showing on the upper land, that means you are an enemy to the 
and you kill hunger you as a tabutua. I will do this to tabutua drink the water which go kind of bless you. I hear from the local elite and all my problems which go and bless you. I write that down for my back little problem. Bless you, dear father, healthy. Thank you. We we'll have another caller there on the phone. Hello, call on the phone. Hello, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Okay, we lost that call. We we'll have another caller there. Hello, call on the phone. Hello, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, what's the name? Where are you calling from? Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes. I'm from the public. I'm calling the name of you. Hello. We can hear you. Go Hello. ahead. Okay. Uh, Mas, uh, you uh, me me now. All uh, this group army, you know me, they are just harassing people at a place they ask the devil fruit from the ballast. Then I must mark all the whole our poster, this at home, tomorrow. So I was speaking to him, all the way men in the new group was filled with the group of us that the harassing people, they're gone. So that is what's happening now. I'm asking people, people, oh, you can't, I'll make a message for my house. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Okay, I think we lost the call. We'll have another call up there, but I think we got um, shared in Emene right now. In Enugu, that they yes, are yes. harassing people here and there. We know that is what they would do. But please keep uh, getting information, keep being observant and uh, at alert so that whatever be the case, we will always know when our people are being abducted. Hello, call on the phone. Call on WhatsApp. Hello. Yeah, hello, good morning. Good morning, my sister Nozi Chukoka and Mazi Songujiwa and Mazi V. How are you doing? What should I say? I thank you for Yeah, my contribution is um, to celebrate our, our fallen hero. I, uh, my, sorry, my name is uh, Joseph Biafra. I am from Ifite, Orumba, in province in Biafra land. I reside here in Noi Olm, Germany. Okay. So my contribution goes, uh, there is no going back. Our fallen heroes who will celebrate, we will, we will remember them tomorrow. We will, for us here in Noi Olm and Olm, we will be meeting in Olm of Banoff to move to Stuttgart where we will uh, uh, do our own rally. All the whole family will meet up in, in, in Stuttgart. So it's a done deal. But I'm using this platform at this hour, at this time, to tell our people that they have killed us enough. They have killed, if, if in calculation, more than more than 15 million Biafran have died on this course. And I am saying it's enough of that. Every and get your know, go and get what go and get what you use to defend yourself. Go and buy ammunition, buy as as many as you can to protect yourself. They can, you cannot just be in your heart or waiting for God to come and defend you or, or to come and fight what the fight you are supposed to fight for yourself. To defend yourself. So I call on you to work. Please wake up and defend yourself. Before we come in, defend yourself. Please, uh, uh, may God bless you guys for your beautiful work. I still remember your brother, Joseph you. Biafra, from Germany. Thank you. Bless you too. Thank you, you. Too. Thank you very welcome. much.
of course we have fans all over the world must recognize tomorrow must ensure that tomorrow our heroes are remembered and respected hello. they are being honored hello uh, on the phone hello, uh, 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 my name is uh, my name is chima joseph i'm calling to cancel the car you are calling I'm from I'm where? Out clear. yeah we can hear you where are you calling from uh, my chima joseph I'm calling from Suka, Enugu State, Biafra land. Mazi okay, Chimadu. what's the situation report right now in Enugu? Okay, uh, I want to use uh, this medium to glorify uh, Chuko Karema for what he have done for us. For uh, somebody like our leader, Mazi Namdi Carlos, that he sent to us and it's a due time. Because I don't know if not go Mazi Namdi Carlos, the place that we should have been by now. That Chuko Kalema knows our deeds and been through and said, Fan, I say, May Chuko Kalema bless our leader and keep on strengthening him as he lead us to our homeland. land. And I want to use this video to remember, to remind to our people about say, our great day tomorrow because I know that you have watched. We have won the battle. We, we will show the world that this target may will be the final and the, the final that we are going to celebrate in the issue. By this time, let's say all of us will be jubilating with the Afro land and nothing can stop it. So, and uh, again, I want to use this video again to speak to my people in Enugu dialect and also in Suka dialect. I hope I'm permitted. Yeah, go ahead. And the boy, yes, and the boy, I have a place you need to. Especially Umada, and I am a big place with the spoken about safety. You have a new carry called the Nambo. Let's go to a city store. I have a new rule in Nambo, but you will be now for all the models. And then I want to go to the Nambo. We will for there. I have got to make this suit. The Nambo said, You have to be a land. I have been away. What we have been away. Now, where you do? You know, 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 the whole South East and South South, you know, the war that the uh, South East and South South belong to uh, uh, the Afrans. And we are the land of the land. And we have every right to use our land wherever that we want to use our land. Makane, you know, you know, the Afrans, they are my own. You can't even come here. She is in Maria. We are going to see what she is in Maria. 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 Come <laughs> Thank you very much. I get one Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hello, should I go on? 
Yeah, I'll go be ahead. waiting Let's online here. Calling from. Good morning from here. Okay, good morning. Okay, good morning. My brother, Vito Onido, and the... Good morning, Mr. Nike. I greet all of you in the name of... You can call him from Malaysia. Um, tomorrow, or maybe some hours today, will be another day of our remembrance. Um, I urge, greet all the whole Bishan, and I urge all of them to remember that RTX sit at home, because that is the day, because my late father used to tell me, call Nigerian army, they are vandals, he used to call them vandals, the day vandals invade our places. I mean, the day our younger one, my elder was in a boys camp, boy company, that I cannot see him again today. The day that I remember, I cannot see my dad again. The day that drinking and smoking or running around the day. Some of us be on fasting that day. Some of us be praying that day. Let the spirit be at the spirit of Odmego Juku. Let the spirit of Udubisi Oga. Let the spirit of Ejike Mokoro Oga. My dad. Let their spirit be on the street that day. My aunt. By all of them, they their spirit. All those that hurt us, they will never have peace, and the spirit will never rest. He will go to where we are going. The spirit will never rest. He will go where we are going. May God hear our voice and do it for us in the name of Yeshua. You see? I thank you, all of you. May God bless you, people. Yes, sir. I remember your humble brother. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. May God bless you, people. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, we've lost a whole lot of people. We've lost close, uh, close relatives. We've lost our blood relatives uh, in one or two occasions. But then we must remember them. And the only thing we can do is to restore Biafra on their behalf. At least yeah, it, it's, it's enough for them. Thank you very much. Call her on WhatsApp. Hello. All right, call on Skype. Yes, uh, good morning, my sister. Good morning, uh, everyone in the studio there. I greet my analyst, uh, David, uh, Margie Davis, for the good work he has been doing for the people of Biafra. I met Margie Daniel Luso. Daniel Luso, I'm calling from the I'm a relative of Akwa Boom. Akwa School is the government in Biafra land. I greet uh, Biafra and some of the world. I greet my people in Africa, I greet my people from different parts of their land. I think we do not go on my way. Continue to bless each and every one of you this morning. I just want to add my voices to the voices of those who have called out all this while. If I'm coming out, I would just want to proceed quickly. This uh, concept of me, which is tomorrow, it is a great day, it is a wonderful day. It is a ritual and it is a must for every witness purpose of people of Biafra all over the world. The need to must be done. The need to must be done. You don't need to be a member of IQT for you to honor your calling world. You don't need to be a member of IQT to honor those who have laid down their lives for you. You don't need to be a member of IQT for you to be sensible enough to understand that there was a war, a, a war that took place between your people and the enemy, that your father fought the enemy of his life, the enemy of the land. And somehow, he, he, he died, somehow, he was a victim. Hello, please, am I coming now? Yes, you are. Go ahead. If you are not, we will say that to you. Okay, okay. Somehow he was a victim of what what transpired. So we all have to honor them. We all have to honor them on the thirtieth of May. We all have to honor them. I don't have much to say this morning, but my charge to each and every one of us as Biafrans, 
that if you must believe, if you have faith in this very struggle that we are into, then let your work speak for you. Let your work speak for you. It is because many of our principal officers, led by our leader Mazin Nambekano, they have faith in this struggle. That is why they have decided to put their life on the line. So every Biafran all over the world, on the 30th of May is really going to show if truly you have faith in this struggle because it is not just what we confess with our mouth it is not all about all in Biafra tomorrow is the time when we all have to prove it uh, of course the Bible says show me your faith and I will show you your work where there is no work there is no faith so each and every one of us are going to put our faith in, the, in demonstration tomorrow and we all are going to sit at home. Of course, we know that the vultures have been gathering. We know that the enemy has been gathering. That is why this battle is not always by our own strength, it's not always our own blood. When we do the need for Chiku Kikabiyama, who um, enable us, he who is going to implement every of our effort that at the end of the day, we will always get the desired result. So this very morning, I just want to encourage my people that on the 30th of May, that is very, very sacrosanct to us. On the 30th of May, is very, very important to us. My people in Akwaibo, although you don't have to be an IPOB member in Akwaibo for you to do the needful on the 30th of May. Every word, every message that has been sent across has to be yielded on to every uh, message that you have received down there in Africa, where you have to hold on to that very message because it is a call on to duty, it is a call on to loyalty for your fatherland, a call on to obedience for your fatherland, for you to hold on to that they are paid the ultimate sacrifice that we all might be saved. Thank you very much, my sister, this morning. Thank you, Biafra uh, Solova, the world for the opportunity to speak to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, call on the phone. Hello. Hello, call on the phone. Can you hear me? All right, we lost the call. We lost the call. Please do call back. Don't forget wherever you are that it is our duty to honor our heroes. It is our duty to honor those who have died for you and I to live. So wherever you are, it doesn't matter if you are registered at POB member, uh, but the truth remains we all are indigenous people of the Afra. But then peradventure someone says I'm not a member of IPOB or whatever, just know it that if you are in fact, if you are a Biafran, whether you are an Igbo, whether you are from Ejo, or Kalabari, or Kreka, Ikwere, Cross River, Akwa Ibom, Delta, Bayelsa, your people were killed. Your people were, were, genocide was committed against your people, and it is your responsibility. You owe it as a responsibility to honor these people who died for you. You can imagine how, uh, you know, how horrible it was. Uh, I, I was just imagining people coming together, okay, let's celebrate. We say one Nigeria, okay, one Nigeria. Then we came out, everybody gathered, wearing our white and celebrating, okay, the killing uh, has stopped. So we accept one Nigeria. The moment you are shouting, you accept one Nigeria, they released bullets and killed everyone. And this is happening in Delta, you know. When we keep talking about Asaba Massacre, some people do not really understand it. And um, it's really, really, it sounds, um, you know, so appalling hearing some someone from Delta say to you, I'm not part of it. What do you mean by Hebrews Day? Uh, what do you mean by Biafra? I'm not part of it. These are your relatives. These were your grandparents, your great grandparents. And, um, you know, so many of them, uh, you have a relative that was involved. You owe it as a responsibility to come out and honor the heroes. It's really, really important very much important and you know for those who do not honor their heroes there is um 
you know, uh, what, what do we call them in Igbo language, in Biafra mm. language? They are Ofunofu now, they are vagabond. Ofeke. Oh, um, yes, Ofeke. Yeah, and that's Ofeke. I'm going to break it in Kokwa. Ofeke na kwa na tata. Wara asa na iri ana iri. So those are the people who, you know, all my people who log in Pokoro. Then that means you to yourself you are useless, you know. So if you don't value yourself, if you don't value your heritage, if you don't value your ancestors by giving them honor and respect, tell me how you when you become an ancestor tomorrow when you become an ancestor tomorrow eventually, how you do they won't even remember you, you just be like uh, you know what is lacking to the Fajina of today, like those people that uh deal with it we eat them and you know if they eat someone that is the vulture, it is a desecration to that very person it is a disgrace that person is a generational disgrace come on to see that mom and the honor those that died for you you are saying no man of nonsense number one you are bringing cause upon yourself because the enemy that is deceiving you the has a full army with their cow brain coming to deceive you that you should not mind this an able thing and all of that all those things are devices statement and by the time you begin to pay them they say if you don't pay attention to the devil the devil will never give you direction but because you are paying attention to them and they are giving you the evil direction to disobey and honor those who died for you and you too will be dishonored that is the simple truth okay uh, mother of can you also throw more light on this you know people are so proud to see uh, someone who is dead is already dead so why are we trying to uh, you know uh, make something out of it they are dead already why do we have to deny ourselves our businesses and uh, what we need to make money for the living uh, i know there are some people who say that what do you have to say about those categories of people uh, who are they uh, how are they seen in Biafra land and what is the implication of their negligence to the dead ones that is to tell you uh, the height of uh, demented and the brainwashed and uh, 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 stupidity that many of us have just acquired you know we value things we value things that doesn't matter more than life we value things that has no recognitions that has no reputation that has no uh, a kind of a uh, 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 standard with life so that is to tell you the height of the 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 the, the the stupidity that many of us have just acquired a man or someone with his rightful senses noticed that someone died even in the line of his business and went and opened shop let me just tell you that is to tell you that people are no longer interested in their fellow human being people are no longer interested just like Ken Ken, Ken became so greed, became so jealous of his brother, and he killed every brother because he feels less concern that is of no value. That is the era where we are in right now. So if you meet with anybody that values his business, that when he dies, the business continues. Something that you cannot take home, you cannot die, even if you acquire billions, trillions, of money and on this earth when you die you will only go home with one casket and six feet why don't you honor and respect those that died that is the only last respect that you are required to so if you see those of those people please just run away from them because they don't want it you know these are the people that will tell you that they believe in nigeria now if they really believe in Nigeria, what is today? Today is 29th. They're supposed to swear in Jubril, right? But it's not coming. The day for yesterday was Children's Day. I remember during our own time, on a Children's Day like this, people were they can become the whole street will be filled with children. Everybody will be very happy trying to go and do their mass pass and whatever area locations they've been directed in their local governments. Even during October 1st. But now, these days, even the, 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 there is no way people are even recommending or even recognizing or even remembering that such a thing is due a madman. Even some madmen have sanity. It is only the dead that are not recognizing the, the, the effort of IPOB. So if they are telling you that the person is dead already, let us continue.
every person watching very closely it won't last longer than necessary will soon die because they didn't even value his own life so thank you thank you all right we'll have a call on whatsapp hello yeah my whatsapp can i go ahead yeah go ahead what's the name where are you calling from Yes, I'm calling from uh, New Delhi. My name is Samazi Udubri. I'm calling from New Delhi in India. My sister, good morning, and the only two, and all our people in the studio. Good morning. Uh, we, we must uh, remember our people. That is, uh, if you must, we must remember them tomorrow without apology. We don't, we don't anybody that apology, we must remember them tomorrow. Here in India, we're going to march in two fronts here in India tomorrow. One in New Delhi, one in uh, Mumbai. The government of India has given us uh, all the documents we should match. That we should make everything possible to get our, ourselves free from whatever we need. They cannot be at the end of whatever we want. So I put our people in a home and what is today. It is our turn tomorrow to do the wonderful work in all over the world. So anywhere you are living here, if you can and make sure you come tomorrow, you come out tomorrow to join us, make sure you come out in mass. All this, uh, all those our people living here in India, in any place you are, either you march them to New Delhi or you march them to Mumbai. In case, if you need a communication, please call um, plus 917-799-2900. Mazi Igwebi, the deputy coordinator of India. I call it again, plus 917-799-29339. And again, our people who are marching out the whole world, you have to listen for this uh, good information I want to give at this moment. Last time we meet at the United Nations here in India, when we present them some document, they ask what we are saying, do we have any evidence? Means we are selling their clean our people, do you have the pictures of those they are clean? We said yes. We open our bag and we give them the photo the ones we have. So if we are coordinating on LinkedIn now, uh, you are going to match tomorrow. All those are evidence we have. Make sure you have some evidence. Package it and give them let, let them see what you are seeing in our land. All those are our people they keep, we must show the world. Print it, go to computer, print it in put aside and put it in envelope. Deliver it to the world, let them see what you are saying. If not, we cannot be able to forgive. We must remember them. All those are people who fight and die that we may leave. We must you must remember them. Even our veteran in our village, in our law in our village. This man is very happy. He's yesterday singing, dancing that our their children are doing a uh, wonderful so we must do wonderful to live our people from this uh, Nigeria. Thank you, my sister. Keep on doing a good work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, we have uh, more than enough evidence. <laughs> we have more than enough evidence. And of course, uh, the United Nations want to do something. Um, they need, you know, they already have evidence. They already have a lot of information. They already have lots of documents there in their office. So asking for more evidence could mean asking for more killings. More people should die. Okay, thank you very much for that. And uh, okay, we'll have a call on WhatsApp. Hello. Call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Hello, call on WhatsApp, are you there? Hello, WhatsApp, can you hear me? Okay, we cannot hear him. Um, you have to call back. Don't forget, tomorrow is 30th of May and all of us must sit at home. Don't forget that it is all about our heroes. 
it's all about those who died for you and I. It's all about those who are still, uh, you know, who died brutally. Those who died for nothing other than th the freedom they want. They want you and I to be free. They want you and I to be alive. They try to save us. Don't forget little children died in their numbers. Don't forget pregnant women um, died. So many of the pregnant women, their, their stomach was slit and the baby removed and killed. You know what it means? You know, it, it was um, very, very horrible. It was very, very horrible. You can imagine where a pregnant woman is being raped. After raping her, they cut her stomach. They killed the woman. Kid kid the kid and kid kid the woman. And let's not forget. Are you there? Are you there? Are you okay. Too too? There you go. I thank, I thank you people for your good work. My name is Nemeke uh, Zekulche. Coming from South Africa. Many good people in South Africa. I just want to thank you people for your good work. I want to thank you people for your good work. I want to thank you and your families. For the seven people are doing for us. I just want to contribute and for a small, small, the less one is looking to contribute. Uh, just like this, our brother is outside the country. All those ones that is not in uh, their family. I think uh, it would be a good idea if they can be able to call their people home because some of all, all those villages, uh, our people, don't hear the whole message that they. Uh, Therefore, is sitting to know that our grandmothers, our mothers, and our fathers, they are, they are old. So it's not even, they are not in social media, they are not even having the radio to know when, what is happening about their family. So if anybody can do us good by coming up his people and deliver the message by ourselves, that will also help us so that uh, our uh, sit at home tomorrow will be so grateful. Yeah, that's uh, so what I want to contribute. I thank you people. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Of course, it's necessary. And I know they've been doing it. Our people in diaspora have been calling their families back here at home. And people at home, I must tell you, are already prepared. You know, when I was watching the, uh, the evangelism yesterday, I saw people, market women, the moment they saw the volunteers uh, chanting the songs and, of course, uh, creating the awareness, they were even the ones jumping and dancing and saying, yes, yeah, so there will be no, uh, there will be sit at home, no market. We won't go anywhere. We are going to honor. So, you know, I saw, I saw one old woman, very old woman, she came and started greeting them, say, yes, my children, we are going to sit at home so the awareness has been created everywhere so for for everyone in biafra land it is already a done deal so keep doing it we have just um we have five minutes to go and we'll be taking just one more call just one more call and then we'll draw the cutting for today five minutes to go do not forget uh, our leader will be broadcasting tomorrow 7 a.m 7 a.m. Uh, Biafra time. He will be broadcasting from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. We will be joining him and, of course, hear from him and know what, um, you know, we will um, honor our hero together. And that broadcast, we know what it is. We know what it's going to be like or what it's going to look like. So even while we sit at home, we join him, we we'll listen to him, we we'll light our candles, we remember them, we we'll pray for their souls, we also pray for the restoration of Biafra. Tomorrow also is a day of sober reflection, do not forget. We must have to reflect, um, you know, when we talk about sober reflection, you reflect on what happened in the past, what is happening presently, and how to avoid what happened in the past. You know, if we neglect what happened in the past, there might not be anyone tomorrow to mourn our own loss. We all will be script of the surface of the earth. So today, we use it to remember those who died, and we are mourning them. And as we mourn them, we also think of what to do so that you and I will be alive. Else, their plan is to annihilate us. You know, gradually annihilate us from the surface of the earth. And you know what that means? There will be nobody to mourn us to, to, to tomorrow. And that was exactly what they wanted then, but um, unfortunately for them,
for Biafra. And of course, we'll be drawing the curtain here for today. But before we go, uh, Master Victor, what message do you have for our viewers before we go? Okay, um, my message is uh, is this. Um, yeah, you have heard it over and over again. So you don't even need anybody to come and start telling you what to do, what not to do. And if you uh, eventually decided that uh, you are the only person in Biafra land that lost money, that lost everything more than, more than your life and whatever, you should go out now. And if you go out, you'll be seen like a, a vagabond. who will disobey and uh, also it will be a shame for them so all of us will sit at home by the grace of Chuko Kabiyama and our enemies will end up in shame at last so thank you very much until tomorrow my name is Stephen Mazi Victor and you bye for now thank you so much all right uh, Mazi Elvis um, before we go what message do you also have for Bia friends yeah um, what I have to say um, it's just a little word, and um, it goes this way, dear friends, please, anybody you saw that disobeyed, most especially those of them that sell mama put, that would like to sell outside their compound or carry under the barrel, please don't participate, they are the saboteurs. Let them cook and eat on their own. Make sure you get every condiment, every foodstuff you need, and uh, keep it in your house. Cook and enjoy with your family. If you don't have anything to do on your television, we have so many programs that will be unfolding, which will keep you busy till the end of the day. Please don't come out. Don't even say, let me know if my neighbor is outside. Don't just do that. Respect this honor. Respect this heroes and heroine. Respect this clear call because it is sacrosanct. So, and Chukwu um, Kambiyama will bless you all. Even as our leader comes on air tomorrow, it will help you also to enjoy, to make the day varieties. It will make you to enjoy the day. And as you do that, Remember, bless. my name is Sirman Mazi Elvis on the way. So I meet you again tomorrow. I sign up from here. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, our viewers out there, we appreciate you for being with us up until now. Without you, we won't be here. Thank you so much for your contribution. Thank you for sharing the program. Mm -hmm. From our crew members here in the studio, we we'll say to you, do have a nice, wonderful day ahead of you or night, depending on your time zone. Signing out from here, I remain Ngozi Chukwoka. Stay tuned as more wonderful programs will be coming your way um, immediately after now. Bye.